Hey everybody, Eliana and I just went, gro went grocery shopping. I can't talk today. Um, so I'm going to show you our haul, kind of broken down. Um, I took out some of the stuff that needs to get put away, the cold items. I have another bag of cold items, so I'm going to show you what I got here. Grab those out, and then I'll show you the rest just so I can get this cold stuff um, put away. Because they're on top of other items, I'm just going to show you really quick. We did get some Eggos. Normally we don't splurge and get something like this, never mind name brand, but they were on sale, so they ended up cheaper than the store brand plain ones um, or blueberry or any of the flavored ones. So we did get two boxes of fancy waffles. And then we also got two gallons of milk because they will go through that really quickly. Some vanilla yogurt. I got two things of the beetroot and bean burgers that I love because they were on sale. Some shredded cheese, string cheese, sliced cheese, and block cheese. Because, of course, we have to cover all of our cheese bases. A few more items that we grabbed while we were shopping the freezer section was some onion rings and some sweet potato fries and some shoestring fries, all Eliana's picks. These were like two for five or two for four or something like that, so we grabbed them. And then, of course, um, we go with the store brand shoestring fries. They love the shoestring fries. A dozen eggs that should get us through the week. And then, of course, I decided to splurge a little bit more today, and we got two snacks. These should last the kids for a couple of weeks. Very rarely we get ice cream, maybe once every few months, um, and then it will last because I kind of hide it and I ration it, um, but it's nice to be able to treat them every once in a while. You guys know how much the kids love their bread, so I did grab two loaves of wheat bread. So I'll put those over here so they can have their sandwiches and whatnot this week. I also grabbed some blueberries because they just looked amazing and I'm craving some blueberries. Bananas because we just go through so many bananas. Um, these, by the way, I grabbed out of the garden. Um, they were on the other side of the fence. They tried to escape me. A little, little damage got dropped on the ground, but those will ripen inside. So if you're wondering why... I have unripened squash inside the squash vine borers. We're eating the vines, so I saved them from the other side of the fence. And then we also grabbed two things of the three cheese blend because the kids live on this stuff. There was a coupon for a dollar off two things of Cheez-Its, plus they were two for three already, so we got two for two of the Cheez-Its and then some graham crackers per Ellie's request. And then I wanted some corn taco shells, so I got a thing of yellow corn and blue corn. So that we, um, one, I can have a little something, and two, we can do a Taco Tuesday. We never do tacos on Tuesdays, so maybe we'll do Taco Tuesday this coming Tuesday. They had fresh apple cider donuts, of course, on sale. So I went ahead and grabbed the box that gives us each two donuts. Not supposed to eat them, but I will splurge by having some. I did, however, find this in the gluten-free vegan section, so I'm super excited to give that a try. This is the brand of cheese that I really enjoy, so finding mac and cheese that I can have is exciting. They were out of the giant containers of hot chocolate, so I settled for some packets just until we go again next time and get some more. Some more baked beans. And then we got a couple different kinds of salsa. Peach, mango, pineapple, black bean, and corn. Salsas are great to have in the pantry. You can use them in so many different ways. One, you can use it as a topping. Two, you can use it as a dip. Three, you can use it as like a sauce. The, uh, the possibilities are truly endless. And having the corn tortillas, I want to be able to put something in there to kind of like flavor up if I don't want to do a traditional taco. Um, or I can break them up and dip it in there. I plan on getting some corn chips and stuff like that later on. Um, but today I wanted to make it quick because I do have to leave in just over an hour to go get Cameron from school. Eliana and I just went grocery shopping again. 
let me show you what we got. It's not a typical grocery haul. I'm trying to get back out there once a week, get things restocked. Now that we've kind of gone through the surplus that we had, I want to keep cycling through everything, freshening up the stuff that we do have. Today was basically a restock of healthy snacks, restock of vegetarian meat products. Um, I understand a lot of the stuff that I got is soy based. However, I also basically got this stuff for the kids. They eat meat, but not very often. So I'm getting the meatless products that they enjoy because they were like half rice. So let me turn you around, show you what I got and go from there. Okay. So we'll start down here with the cold stuff. You guys have seen me get these before. They're usually in a different box, but they had two more. They were half off, so I grabbed them. And then a bunch of other meatless stuff. I accidentally grabbed the buffalo chicken patties. I was going to do um, like chicken parmesan, but I accidentally grabbed the buffalo chicken ones. I will eat these, and the person who was going to come over and we were going to make that with would eat the spicy ones, but the kids wouldn't. So I might have to go back and get some more. <laughs> I grabbed four of them thinking they were the regular ones. It's okay. And then the popcorn chicken, I grabbed four of those. Everything was two for seven for the meatless products. They're normally like $4.99 a piece. So like I said, great savings. Grabbed four of those, four of those. The maple flavored sausage patties. We get like two breakfasts out of a bag. If I'm eating them, we get one breakfast out of a bag. Um, so those and mandarin orange chicken. These are my guilty pleasure. So yes, I did get those. And yes, I did get those for me. And yes, they're soy based. I know, but I really don't care. Those are, that is one of my guilty pleasures. I am not going to have ice cream again, like I did last night. However, I will give in and have a whole entire bag of this myself just like once in a blue moon. So I did grab two of those. And then up to, oh, I'll show you those in a second because that's where it gets a little crazy. So I got some bananas. I got some that are basically ready to eat now, give or take a few days, and then some that will be ready shortly after that. Eliana wanted another cucumber, so we got another English cucumber that time of year. So I grabbed some really simple quick bake cookies, just something that I can do with the kids um, like I said, safe to eat raw. Well, we, we used to eat them raw anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, you tell me if you ate raw cookie dough or if you still eat raw cookie dough, because I know I grew up that way. But I got the pumpkin ones and the ghost ones. I will probably record that for you guys. I had a 50 cent off coupon on my app for my grocery store for one of these, and it was like two, four, whatever. So I got two of them. I wanted to try the peach mango. I think I tried the strawberry before and I was like, eh, I wasn't fa like a fan of the texture, but I'm going to try it again. Eliana wanted some Oreos and it was either grab two of the small ones on the sale price or two with family size. So no brainer, same price, grabbed two of the family size ones. We got restocked in our hot cocoa and our mini marshmallows, our maple syrup, and our strawberry milk syrup. So we are going to be a happy little family for the next couple of months because this stuff will last us, I would say, probably about six months, which makes me extremely happy. I don't have to buy this stuff again until like spring, but by springtime, they won't want this anymore and they won't want that anymore. So this is basically our winter supply of hot cocoa marshmallows. I was running out of olive oil, so I grabbed two of those also on sale. Normally like $15, $16 a bottle. They were on sale for $7.99, so I grabbed two of those because I got two for the price of one. The last two of those mac and cheese that I absolutely loved and that I shared with you, the last two, I grabbed those. Some blueberry bagels, request of Eliana because she wanted some blueberry bagels. I asked her if she wanted English muffins. She said she wanted blueberry bagels. So we'll see. She's not usually much of a bagel person. And then the chips. The chips were like a dollar something. They were normally like $4 a bag. So I got two blue corn, two guacamole, two multigrain, and then four sweet potato because you can tell what my favorite is. And these chips should last us for a while. I didn't check the dates on them. April 2022. So these, like I said, will last us <clears throat> as well. 
So I'm going to put some stuff like this stuff um, in our new pantry area, which you guys will see soon. So that way they are out of sight, out of mind. However, if we want to grab a snack one evening for movie night, we can go pick up, out a bag of chips. Or if I just want to have a snack that I can eat because they are um, like corn based or sweet potato based. So on today's grocery haul, I think I spent like $65 on everything, which is insane, but I had coupons and other stuff. I had like money on a card that I hadn't used that I totally forgot about, so I used that. Love gift cards, guys. Um, yeah, and just with like the sale prices, I think it was for like $45 or $55 that I had saved. So that was today's grocery haul. So I was putting groceries away and I realized Today has not gone how I wanted it to go. It's a little bit after two o'clock. I haven't gotten to any of the deep cleaning that I wanted to do. Um, I got preoccupied with other stuff, which is stuff that needed to be done, but I didn't quite get to everything that I had planned on getting to today. Um, yeah, do you guys have those moments where you're like, I've got to get all of this other stuff done. I'm glad I got that stuff done, but some stuff is on kind of a time crunch. So I need to get all this other stuff done now. I think I'm going to have a cup of tea. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to give myself a moment to breathe. I'm going to scan my receipts in with my Fetch app for the last few days of the receipts, like my gas, re gas receipt, my grocery rece receipt today, and my grocery receipt from last week. And game plan. I have to have a plan of attack. Otherwise I'm not going to get anything done. Do you game plan? Like how do you organize yourself? Because I feel like I need a little help on organization. Like in my brain, I'm a lister, but I feel like I have lists of lists of lists of lists of lists of lists. And I spend all my time making lists like help. So Ellie's running around like crazy. We are leaving to go get Cameron. Um, <laughs> My lemon already went off to go get him and we haven't walked out the door yet. So she's trying to get her hair all fabulous. I got my FOMO wallet, my keys. Yeah, you know where that's from. Done. You're my people. She did her hair all fabulous. All right, let's go get Cameron. 